This is REZ 2022-03, Windy Hill Subdivision, located at 7532 Miller Bridge Road. This involves 34 acres. It's currently EA, and the request is for RA. It's still called for a community well and private septic. Mr. Dillard. Thank you, sir. Again, the request is EA to RA for an 11 lot subdivision. Um, pros to 2.5 to 3.11 acre uh, tracks. It is within the rural service area of an agricultural forestry character area. And for comprehensive plan guidance, RA zoning is listed as recommended within uh, the character area, while the development strategy again aims to keep these large, large lots and maintain the rural uh, nature of the area. There are currently 150 lots, uh, 151 lots within a one mile radius. And again, it is within a groundwater recharge. This is the proposed layout. You'll notice the 11 lots here, all of them two and a half acres, over 150 feet wide. The larger two lots in the cul-de-sac being the 3.08 and 3.11 acres. They have addressed stormwater issues, which was a concern brought up by many of the citizens by surrounding property owners that any time this rains heavily would flood their adjacent properties. And again, the concern for groundwater recharge and what this might do to that area. Soil has not been evaluated by the Department of Public Health or EPD, given the community well proposal. You'll note here the 151 lots breakdown. The purple line on the far left there is the median house size or lot size of 6.6 .6 acres. Roughly 40 tracks are three acres or less. 31 tracks are six acres or less. And then 27 tracks uh, fall under the nine acres or less within a one mile radius of the subject property. This is that one mile radius. Most of the smaller tracks you'll notice are to the northwest around Morven and Coffee Road. The property across the street to the southwest is 344 acres. The property uh, immediately to the west is approximately 100 acres. And again, these are actively farming, uh, actively farm parcels. This is a map of the opposition. I know last time Commissioner Marshall had a uh, request of that opposition. I do have the 303 signatures here as well. Um, it's not included in the packet, but there are 303 signatures, and this is the location of those signatories on this map here. Ultimately, the Planning Commission recommended denial 8 to 3 for this request, citing that the character of the area was still agricultural and rural and should remain so. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Dillard? No, but I will say thank you for going the extra mile on this case. I mean, there's a lot of information here that really helps, so I appreciate that. I did receive an email this morning from the applicant. They have a nine-slide presentation they would like to show. I was trying to print it off, but our printer jammed this morning. I will get that to you hopefully here shortly. But it is the nine slides that they wish to show, the applicant wish to show um, in favor of their case. So I will get that to you as soon as I can. Okay. Being two and a half acre lots, couldn't they have their, couldn't they have wells on each and all that? Yes, sir, they could. Um, and that was the consideration and the comment made by the TRC to the individual that these lot sizes are big enough for individual well and septic. However, the applicant is still proposing community well and individual septic. Any other questions? Okay. All right. 